continue to follow the developing story out of East Haddam this morning. That's where the body of missing seven-month-old baby Aiden Moreno was found last night. My family had been holding out hope as the search had gone on. Unfortunately, they got this devastating news. News 8's Brian Spires has been following this story from the beginning. He joins us live now in East Haddam with the latest. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Ali and Jim. You know, for the past two days, it was very apparent that Aiden's body was, in fact, in the Connecticut River. But last night's discovery is not making this any easier for people to accept. Now, a call came in right around 8 o'clock last night that someone found an infant's body in the Connecticut River here in East Haddam, right near the Swing Bridge, which is behind me. Detectives confirmed just a short time after that that it was, in fact, the body of seven-month-old Aiden Moreno. All of this happening some 20 miles away from where this story first started in Middletown, as we know that it was Sunday night right before midnight when Aiden's father, 22 year old Tony Moreno, made a suicide attempt by jumping from the Aragoni Bridge, taking his young son with him. Tony Moreno was then pulled from the water, taken to the hospital. He is expected to survive. Crew searched tirelessly over the last two days for Aiden, dealing with strong currents and low visibility in the Connecticut River. Obviously, a very intense search which ended last night. Now, charges are expected in this case. However, right now it's unclear when it, exactly that will happen since the father, Tony Moreno, is still in the hospital. That is the very latest. We are reporting live this morning from East Haddam. Brian Spiros, News 8.